what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so uh, hold on okay so i didn't really explain anything i'm so nervous i am at my breast augmentation consult today is october Okay, so right now I'm going over pricing and all that. This is about to happen. I'm back. Oh my god, I don't even know where to begin. So, basically, as you guys are probably going to be able to tell by the title, new boobs, who this? You know? Before I get into the video and get into everything, let me just start off by saying, if you are like against plastic surgery, you don't like it, you think people don't need it, all this, or you just have something negative to say please get off my channel get off my video it is not gonna be tolerated here okay okay you don't have to say this but just a little disclaimer i'm doing this completely for myself um, i know i do have like younger subscribers and viewers so no means am i trying to be like you need plastic surgery or yeah go do it go do it something that is very important to me and i do be sharing a lot on my youtube channel and social media so i just wanted to make a video about this because one it could be informative to people that are maybe considering this or don't really know um, where to even begin I do my best to not get emotional because this is a very sensitive topic for me um i've been wanting my boobs done since I was like 14. I am now 20, I'm gonna be 21 in a couple months. I've always had a very small flat chest. You know, I feel like everyone says that, you know, just because they're not like as big as they would like or whatever, but I'm serious, like flat, dude. Like, I was just always very insecure and I just was not happy with what my boobs look like you know since the age of like 14 15 right before um i had my quinceanera that's when i really was like fuck i want my boobs done like i hate them you know um just because i had like a very nice dress and my boobs did not fill them out let me just come on here and say i didn't mention this throughout the whole video but i just talked about how me being 15 i couldn't fill out like certain dresses this is something that i struggle with till this day i cannot wear certain shirts i cannot wear certain bras sports bras certain tank tops certain dresses strapless dresses there's so many things that i can't wear because i have no boobs and then when it doesn't fit um even if i get the smallest size it doesn't fit um i don't feel good about wearing it so then i just don't wear it and I don't like feeling like that. Um, but of course, I was younger, so um, my mom, other people I knew just told me, like, just give it time. Like, you're barely, like, you know, developing. They'll get bigger, they'll grow, whatever. They never did, you know? Um, like I said, I'm now 20, and could they grow maybe in a year, two, three years from now? Yes but i just want them it's something that's gonna make me 100 times more confident in myself and just happy so i don't think there's anything wrong with me wanting to get my boobs done um so yeah i've had this like idea and mindset since i was like let's just say 15 right um i didn't get serious about it until maybe a year and a half ago because one where i'm from plastic surgery is not very like common you know like um i want to say a lot of people are more like conservative and like judgy like if you get any type of plastic surgery whether it's like lip filler botox all that it's kept very like secretive just because people are very judgy and like personally didn't know anyone that had ever gotten their boobs done but then i found out that some of my mom's friends have actually gotten theirs done so then of course i asked her like hey can you ask where and all this stuff they all got them at the same place which is the place that i'm gonna be getting them done at because if you know 
any surgery is expensive but any cosmetic surgery is so much more expensive and since it's a cosmetic surgery it's not needed insurance does not cover for it you literally have to pay everything out of pocket so i started actually saving for it and actually being like with the new mentality of okay i'm actually gonna do it and go through with it I wanted them done before my 21st birthday um so yeah here i am now it is i think i said this already but it's october 1st 2020 i tried showing you guys as much as i could but I was very anxious, like, just very hard for me to like record because, because one, I am by myself so I can't have someone like vlog for me. That's another thing I want to say, make sure you guys do your research. Like I was keeping up with them and like I knew all the stuff that they were talking to me about and like informing me on because I've done my research. Make sure you do your research on who you're actually going with. I don't think I've said yet where I'm going, right? I'm going to be doing my surgery at Rio Center for Plastic Surgery. Um, I am from Texas, so it is here in McAllen. He's a board certified plastic surgeon. He, They did also mention he is like a certified general surgeon. Um, so yeah, I've always heard good things from him. I did my research on where I'm going to, so just keep that in mind. So yeah, if you guys are interested in coming along with me on my boob job journey, then just keep on watching. Right now, I'm at my second consult, and it's already going bad. I decided to make this entire journey um, like a part one and two type of thing so this video part one is going to be like the more informative video where I talk to you guys about like why I wanted to do this in the first place where I'm going um, I talked to you guys about sizing pricing all that like specific stuff and I did vlog like a little bit of my first consult and then in part two I'm going to do like the more actual vlog of day of surgery recovery process and all that so yeah i will be linking everything in the description so basically i just had my second consult and that's the one where i actually at the doctor that's going to be doing my surgery and i got to see like an actual um i guess picture like 3d imaging type of thing of what i would look like with the certain sizes and i basically had two options i was in between sizes i was in between um, 350 cc's and 375 cc's. I know I may get comments like, oh, they don't even look that big or I see no difference. I don't care. I'm doing this for myself and it's my preference. It's what I want. It what fits my body. Keep in mind, I weigh 102 pounds. I'm 4'9". I'm very petite. Like, I do be thick a little bit and I have like legs and a butt and everything. But I'm small. I'm a small person. My body frame is small. Big, big boobs would not look good on me. Would they be pretty? Yes, but it's not what I want. So keep that in mind. Right now, I'm like a 36A cup. Small. Um, I don't know exactly what cup I will be going to. Um, I didn't want like bigger than a C. I want maybe like a full C. Um, and even that, I feel like that might be too big. Right now, my shirt sizes, I wear smalls for the most part. Um, I can fit into extra smalls and mediums. It just depends. But my thing is, I didn't want to go too big where it's going to be like a drastic change where I'm going to have to start wearing like large shirt sizes. Another thing, when I have my surgery done, I will be 20 years old. Like, yes, I'm going to be turning 21, but I'm 20 right now. Um... I just think the size that I ended up picking fits me better. I am still young. Um, I plan on having kids in the future. And then if I perhaps want to go bigger later on, whenever I get them redone, I could go bigger if I wanted. If you didn't know, um, 
you need to get your boobs done, redone. Um, once you get implants, the implants can last about 10 to 12 years, I think they said. It literally just depends on everyone. The sizes that I was in between was 350 and 375. Um, I am getting gummy bear implants, so they're the silicone ones. So again, I'm not like an expert on this, but from my research, this is just like to my knowledge, um, don't quote me on anything. Like if you guys are wanting to do this for yourselves, do your own research as well. Um, but basically the difference between silicone and saline is the silicone ones are the gummy bear ones and they just look more natural, they feel more natural. The saline ones are the ones that have like the liquid inside. Um, they are cheaper, but they look a little more like, oh, she has implants, you know? But also I've heard that the silicone is just a little safer option because if the saline implant pops in your body, it's gonna leak out. And that's just very scary to me. So the silicone, if it pops, ruptures, whatever, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's literally just gonna be there and then you have to go fix that, but it's not like something is leaking into your body. So that was another difference, but I will be getting the silicone ones and in the specific ones where I'm going to, I only carry 340. So um, it's a little bit smaller than a 350, what I initially wanted. Um, but it's not very much. So the place that I'm going to, the sizes that they have is 310, 340, and then 375. 310 would be way too small for me, and then 375 is a little too big for me, so I ended up going with 340 cc's. Um, again, I'm not sure exactly what size that's giving me, so in part two, I probably will be able to tell you guys that a little bit better. Basically, my whole thing was, when I tried them on, you could see a difference right away. Um, I'm gonna put a picture right now, and the three... 40 looks perfect. It looks perky, round, it had a perky little under boob. It looked really pretty. The 375 looked a little like droopy, if that makes sense. Like on me, myself, when I had them like there and the little bra that they gave me or whatever, the 340 just felt more natural. It felt more comfortable. Um, the 375 kind of felt like awkward. Like, okay, there's something hanging off me, you know? So it just felt more natural to me. And then when he was able to show me like the 3D pictures of what it would look like, um, like a reference thing, I guess, um, it wasn't that big of a difference. The 340 and the 375 was not that big of a difference. Um, yes, it was slightly bigger, but not by much. Like if this was the boob, it was just like lower, like it dropped more on the 375 and I don't really want that. I was just scared to go too big or too small and then be unhappy with it, but um, this is my first ever like cosmetic surgery. Um, this is my first time getting my boobs done. I would rather be 100% happy with what they look like than like overshoot and get them too big and then I'm gonna be uncomfortable, in pain, they're gonna get saggier faster and I'm just not gonna like how they look. So I just chose to go with a 340. Again, that is like a lot smaller than what normally people choose to go. Normally people will get like 400 cc's, 475. I've seen people that do like 560 cc's and stuff like that. Those are like, if you want big, big boobs, that's not me. So again, this is all just my own personal experience. Um, I honestly will feel better with anything. So whether I got the 340 or the 375, it would be a hundred times better than what I have right now. The 340, that's why I chose it. Um, from like the side profile, it has like a very nice slope, a little teardrop thing. Um, and then when he showed me the 375, since it was a little bigger, it was a little fuller, but it kind of didn't have that same side profile. The saying, go big or go home, does not apply to this. Like, why would I want to get too big and then it's just gonna be a mess, you know? So keep that in mind. The saying less is more applies. Um, I literally think that's it. I already talked to you guys about like what I could really think of that would be helpful information. If there's anything, comment down below right now. That way in my second video, I could address it, you know? If there's any questions that you guys have, I could do it in the part two. And then I have a third appointment December 4th where I have to pay everything in full. So when I booked my appointment to actually book my surgery day, I had to give a $500 down payment, non-refundable, but it does go towards my surgery like cost or whatever. 
then two weeks before my surgery, which is December 4th, I have to pay everything in full in order for my like surgery date to be reserved and actually go through with everything. And um, that's where I'll be signing like all my consent forms, all of that. Um, they're gonna do blood work to do like labs and all that. And then that'll really be it. And then it's literally just counting down the days until my actual surgery, which is December 18th. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry, I'm gonna try not to send me well wishes and pray for me because I'm so excited but I'm so nervous as well and just make sure you guys stay tuned because this is the last time that you're seeing me with like no boobs like itty bitty titty queen no longer me actual pictures of like what I look like right now um I'm not gonna put them until part two like like me in like a tube top or like swimsuit whatever before and after that way you guys are actually able to understand and see where i'm coming from when i say that i'm flat like i'm so flat <laughs> together we will come for my neck about how small chested i am or was because what so i just realized that i didn't talk about the most important thing that you guys are probably wondering about how much is my surgery well I don't know if people say specific numbers on here, like on these type of videos, but I will just say that it's almost $7,000 what I'm paying for my surgery. It's just under $7,000, right under $7,000 is what I'm paying in total for the whole procedure and that includes like the actual implant, the cost of the surgery, the cost of like anesthesia, all that stuff. I will say. It's still really expensive, right? This is still a very big expense that I'm making. I've been saving for it. So keep that in mind. If you are considering any type of cosmetic surgery, it is going to be pricey and you do have to save money, not just for the surgery, but for things that you might need afterwards. Like for example, for me, I'm going to have to buy completely new bras perhaps new wardrobe you still have to pay for the cost of your pain medication but i was thinking that it was going to be so much more expensive because from what i've seen like in miami california bigger cities like that the starting price for boob jobs are literally like ten thousand and up i've seen some that are even like fifteen thousand so i was expecting for it to be a lot more pricey but i guess that's like an average price range from here where i live valley texas area it starts from like five thousand to like eight thousand um so yeah that's just the tea on that off today i had my last like little appointment they took blood and everything to do lab work um i signed all my consent forms and then i paid it off and i feel so proud of myself because i saved for something that I had been wanting for so long and I paid it off all myself and it was just a very big moment for me so yeah that's the end of today's video um next time you see me it will be surgery day